Hi, I'm Kevin Denahan, the Branding Samurai, and today I'm going to talk about metrics. Everybody wants metrics. They want better metrics, they want more conversions, and they want ultimately more revenue. So they go to a marketer and they're like, give me better metrics. Except there's a lot more to doing that to get those better metrics. First of all, the way that a marketer can help any company is to know what's going on first. So the first thing I want to know is, okay, what are your existing metrics? And then I want to know, what are you doing now? But I also want to know, what is your product? Who are your competitors? What's your service? What's your customer service like? And then I want to see your branding. Show me your brand story. Do you have your foundational elements of your brand DNA in place? Mission, vision, tagline, core values, right? And then if you have a brand strategy or a brand style guide, I would want to see all that because that's if you because that's how you're going to get better metrics. Having all those things already in place. A lot of times companies want a marketer to come in and hey, get us more conversions, get us better metrics. They hear this every day, right? But what the marketing side, me, what I want to know is, okay, well, show me what you have. And so if you don't have those elements in place, it's really hard to improve your metrics, conversions, and ultimately get more revenue because that means you haven't put out a clear brand story. You don't, you're not giving the world your vision. You're not sharing your goals. You're not targeting the right audience. For example, who are your buyer personas? I would want to know that because I need to see, are you reaching those buyer personas or are you just making marketing materials? You're just hired somebody really cheap. They're creating email content. You're blasting them all the time, but none of it's relevant. It has to be relevant. So if you are looking for more metrics, this is what you need to have in place before you expect somebody to increase those conversions and get you more revenue. You need to have your foundational brand DNA in place, your mission, your vision, your tagline, your core values. Those four elements are the foundational principles of everything that comes next. The next thing is your brand story. You have to have a compelling brand story that tells you why you're here. It could be from a personal standpoint or from a brand standpoint, but it needs to tell people, why are you here? I want, I want to serve better coffee. I want to create a better engine. I am selling better designs using fabric that no one's using, whatever it is. Why did you, why did this company, your company start this journey, right? That draws on the initial foundational principles. You're using the same language of your core values, mission, vision, tagline in your brand story. Now you have your brand story. Then you're like, okay, well, I still need more metrics. I still need more conversions. I want more revenue. I'm not going to make it. Well, the next thing you do is go to the landing page. What does your landing page say? It needs to echo the brand story and those brand DNA elements. Your landing page needs to have a compelling hero header, a subheader, and a call to action. You've got to give some people something to do. Then you've got this magnificent landing page. It tells people exactly what you do, why you're doing it, and how you know, great their lives will be once they buy your product or service. So then your the rest of your marketing needs to mirror all this. And that is your social channels and your email marketing. Maybe you're doing things like billboards or snail mail or whatever your other um, strategy is, or you're asking your marketing person, what what else should I do? But when you do those other marketing materials, especially your social media, you need to be super hyper-focused on what channels your buyer persona lives on because not everybody is on every channel, right? 
and not every demographic and every age group is on, uses every channel. Where do people mostly go for what you sell, whether it's a product or service? Where do most of those people go? For me, most of my clients are on LinkedIn. So I only focus on LinkedIn and, and obviously YouTube. But you, your, your product or service might be better only on Instagram or only on Facebook or whatever channel it is. So if you don't know that, then you need to ask somebody, which channels are the best for what I do in my industry, right? You can get help for that. I, mean, I can help you with that. But you need to be super hyper-focused on what channels you're going to do and then mirror that messaging in that social media post that's on your landing page, in your brand story, and your core values. If you don't tie them all together for clarity, consist consistency, and continuity, then it's likely that your metrics aren't going to change, your conversions won't flip, and your revenue won't go up. So if you need any help with that, that's what I do. Um, link is down below for my website. If not, then just take, the, take notes and start figuring out all those elements so you've got a clear-cut strategy to start making business happen. I'm Kaverna Denny and the Branding Samurai. See you next time.